Hello, my friend. How are you? Are you okay? Talk to me. I love to see you here. Let's continue studying the 12 rules for life by Jordan Peterson. Today, rule number six. Set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. <laughs> the wisdom of the past was hard earned and your dead ancestors may have something useful to tell you. Don't blame capitalism, the radical left, or the iniquity of your own enemies. Don't reorganize the state until you have ordered your own experience. Have some humility. If you cannot bring peace to your household, how dare you try to rule a city? Let your own soul guide you. Watch what happens over the days and weeks. When you are at work, you will begin to say what you really think. You will start to tell your wife or your husband or your children or your parents what you really want and need. When you know that you have left something undone, you will act to correct the omission. Your head will start to clear up as you stop filling it with lies. Your experience will improve as you stop distorting it with inauthentic actions. You will then begin to discover new, more subtle things that you were doing wrong. Stop doing those too. After some months and years of diligent effort, your life will become simpler and less complicated. Your judgment will improve. You will untangle your past. You will become stronger and less bitter. You will move more confidently into the future. You will stop making your life unnecessarily difficult. You will then be left with the inevitable bare tragedies of life, but they will no longer be compounded with bitterness and deceit. Perhaps you will discover that your now less corrupted soul, much stronger than it might otherwise have been, is now able to bear those remaining, necessary, minimal, inescapable tragedies. Maybe your anxiety and hopelessness and resentment and anger, however murderous initially, will recede. Perhaps your uncorrupted soul will see its existence as a genuine good, as something to celebrate. Even in the face of your own vulnerability, perhaps you will become an even more powerful force for peace and whatever is good. Who knows what existence might be like if we all decided to strive for the best. Who knows what eternal heavens might be established by our spirits, purified by truth, aiming skyward right here on the fallen earth. Set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. Comment here about one small thing that you would like to improve in your life. I want to see your comment. Thank you very much. I am Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Rule number seven says, pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient.